Probability. Let's look at some problems. All right, the most common kind of questions you'll see are either uh, dice questions or card questions. We're going to go through two dice questions and uh, two card questions, right? So this could be a question. What is the probability of rolling consecutive ones, right? So you rolled a one with a six-sided dice, and then you rolled the very next time you rolled another one. All right, so let's look at this. All right, so one out of six chance that you'll roll a one first time, pretty obvious, right? What's the chance that you roll a one the second time? Another one out of six chance, you multiply these together, equals one out of 36. That would be your answer. And what if they said, what about three consecutive ones? What is that? All right, and so again, times one out of six, that's one in 216 chance of rolling three straight ones. So not particularly good chance of doing that if you were thinking betting on that, all right? Second one, um, two dice. Let's try to make sure we have lots of room. All right, so this one is two dice rather than one. And what, not consecutive ones, but chances of rolling a six with two dice, all right? So we have, um, what is it, how many potential outcomes are there with two dice? The answer to that is 36. 36 chances, uh, 36 possibilities, and what are the chances of getting um, an eight, or a six, I mean, sorry. What are the chances of getting a six? So one uh, and a five, two and a four, three and a three, four, two, five, one, right? Those are the only possibilities, the only two guys that we can do that will give us a six. There's five possibilities, five, 36 chance that you roll a six. All right. Now let's look at some card questions, all right? So real common one might be, what is the chance of drawing a face card from a full deck of cards, right? And so all you really need to know here are that there are four face cards in each suit and there's four suits, right? So you have Jack, Queen, King, Ace, those are all face cards. So that means total four times four, 16 face cards, right? And we need to know that there are 52 cards in a deck. 16 out of 52, they'll probably want you to reduce it, right? Because you can reduce 16 out of 54 if we divide by four, divide by four equals four and 13 chance that you draw a face card, all right? So that one's fairly straightforward. What if they ask for two consecutive face cards, right? We already know that it was four out of 13 to draw that first one, and then how do we know the odds of getting two consecutive face cards? Well, we now have 15, because we've got one that's out of the deck, and we now have 51 cards in the deck, because one has also been drawn out of the deck. We multiply these together, right? And we get 60 over 663, right? And that's the answer to that one. Now, it's quite possible that you get this, you go and do this math, and it's 60 out of 663, and they ask, they ask for like a percentage, right? And they say most nearly 9% or 8% or 10% or whatever. Okay, so you can go ahead and divide that all up if you want, but hopefully you can see that 60 over 600 would be 10% and 60 over 660 would be 9%. So you'd be right around that 9% area, anything like it's right around there is almost surely the right answer.